Hey y'all. So I'm mad late. I wanted to start this vlog in the morning, but the morning just got away from me. Um, but long story short, I did start keto today. Today is day one of my journey. Y'all, if y'all can tell, I do not vlog. Um, I'm not used to holding this camera. Low key is kind of heavy. And I'm trying to get, it's kind of gloomy today, so I'm trying to get like the best lighting. Um, but anyways, I started keto today and I did have my keto breakfast this morning and I will insert a little small clip of that because like I said, I, I forgot to record with my like actual camera this morning when I was making my breakfast. But it was basically just some scrambled eggs with a tablespoon of butter, some mushrooms and some spinach. And then I had a coffee on the side with some sugar-free, um, was it vanilla? syrup and um like a pinch of like cream and that's it okay so i also am getting ready to eat lunch my brain y'all i apologize if i just seem all over the place in this video i have not eaten enough today because i've been running around like crazy doing wedding stuff um and so i am not thinking very clearly and i know it's because i need to eat so i'm about to make my lunch and then i will go into more detail about this whole keto thing and why i'm doing it and all that in a minute okay y'all here is my very late lunch because it is like four o'clock um this is just lettuce ground beef with some cheddar cheese mixed in it's one slice of cheddar cheese that i kind of tore up because i didn't have no shreds um, and then I got some onions in there, avocado. The white sauce on top is a brand of ranch called Just Ranch. It is a vegan brand. I am not vegan, but I used to be. And um, a lot of those vegan things I still like, so that their ranch is one of the things that I still like. Um, and then I only put like a little bit of olive oil when I cooked the ground beef um, because you know the beef is already kind of fatty anyway. And to drink, I'm having one of my favorites. LaCroix. Um, this is the lime, key lime flavor. It tastes like Sprite, so I love it. And that is it, y'all. All right, so I just finished my lunch. That salad was actually pretty good, and I was super hungry, so I ate it in like maybe less than 10 minutes. I literally scarfed that salad down. So let me just give you guys some backstory because I have provided zero context <laughs> about this whole keto thing. Uh, so what made me go on the keto diet is I noticed towards the end of August, for whatever reason, I have gained like seven or eight pounds. Um, I know that's not a lot to some people, but I'm already like a bigger girl and I know my body well enough to know that once it starts on the gaining train, it normally doesn't stop. And so I was like, okay, I don't really know how I gained the seven or eight pounds because I didn't see where I was doing anything differently or like eating anything out of the ordinary i know some of it's probably water because i do tend to retain a lot of water just on a regular basis but i'm like all of it's not water so yeah and since i'm getting married in roughly six weeks i was like we need this in the bud sorry something was my seat <laughs> we need this in the bud like quick fast and in a hurry because my dress is very form fitting and I just don't have time. Like I don't have room for error at all. So the reason why I chose keto is because I know that anytime typically where you are cutting your carbs significantly, you are more likely to lose weight successfully, at least in the short term. I would probably not do keto for more than like a few months only because in my opinion, again, I will say in my opinion, it's not very sustainable for me. Okay. I said, it's not sustainable for me. I want to make it very clear to you guys. You do what you want to do. You live your life the way you want to live it. I know that I love pasta, I love potatoes, I love rice, and I especially love bread, and I am not fixing to go without it long term. <laughs> That's just me. Once I come off of this um, keto diet, which I plan to come off of it after the wedding, I will slowly reintroduce carbs into my diet so that you know I don't send myself into some sort of shock and end up gaining all this weight back. So my goal is to lose, you know, around 10 pounds. Um, if I lose more than that, great. If not, that's okay. I just want to drop 10 and we'll see what happens after this first week if I'm able to drop it or if I need more time. Excuse me. But nevertheless, that's it. Um, I am doing 1,800 calories this week. And I believe 
Let me check. I'm using the Chronometer app. I think that's what it's called. Chronometer? Chronometer? I don't know. Chronometer app to track my calories. And the reason why I like Chronometer is because it breaks everything down and even tells you like your vitamins and nutrients. Like it gets very, very specific. Um, so let me check my macros on here so I can tell y'all exactly how many grams. Okay, so 1800 calories a day is the goal. That'll be 90 grams of protein. Um, 25, I'm sorry, I got my glasses on. 25 <laughs> grams of carbs and 140 grams of fat. So those are my goals for this week. And why I say that is because I'm taking this week by week to see if anything will need to be tweaked a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely, based off of what I've eaten so far today and what I also plan to eat for dinner, I should be right or very close to where I need to be um, for my goals. But I think that's really it. Um, there's not a whole lot else a whole lot else y'all I need to take a nap there's not a, a lot I need to say aside from that um I do plan on I already work out about three to five times a week I do plan on incorporating more uh cardio and more walking I, there was a time where when the pandemic first started where I was doing a lot of walking on a regular basis at least three times a week and I was walking like anywhere between two to four miles and I did notice when I was doing that consistently that it was keeping my weight under control and I wasn't losing but I wasn't gaining and so I'm going to incorporate that back into my routine so that I can try to help you know get the extra weight off um, but that's it so I will see you guys again at dinner all right y'all this is my burnt up salmon <laughs> and burnt up broccoli low-key i mean it kind of just stayed in the pan too long both of them really but it's all good it's just gonna be cajun style but you burn ah okay for those of you who don't know that accent is from my hometown so if you know anything about how people from charleston talk you will get why i said it that way irrelevant so this is my dinner that i'm about to eat it is late i think it's almost eight o'clock i don't even remember right now i'm just not on it today but i will do better tomorrow All right, y'all. So I just wanted to wrap it up really quick. I forgot to mention that I cooked the salmon in like about a tablespoon of olive oil and then I put like a little pat of butter on top. And the broccoli, I put it like, I mean, it might have been a teaspoon, if that, of olive oil to kind of like steam the broccoli in the pan. Um, it, it actually did taste good, even though I know it looked like it was burnt. <laughs> Um, but it actually wasn't um, once you got to the inside. But nevertheless, that's irrelevant. I just want to say, I, today, I don't know, I just felt off. And I don't know if it was because I was busy or if it was because I was like not eating like how I normally would eat or both. I don't really know. I'm hoping that tomorrow or within the next few days um, that I will start to feel a little better and I know part of it is me not being very organized today. And so anytime I'm not organized, it kind of just throws me off. Um, I'm definitely a person that likes to be like scheduled and I'm kind of regimented in things that I do. I'm a routine kind of person for the most part. And so I just didn't feel like I had myself together today at all. Um, as far as diet wise, I was hungry. <laughs> Like, I didn't cheat, I didn't slip up or anything, but I was definitely hungry. Like, aside from the three meals that I, this is five fingers, aside from the three meals that I showed you guys, the only other thing that I ate was a Colby Jack cheese stick and a fat bomb by Slim Fast. That was it. And so I know people are always like, oh, I just feel so full on keto from all the fat and the blah, 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 blah. I cannot relate to that, you guys. Like, I don't feel like I am, you know, just super stuffed or anything. I legit just feel like my camera is not focusing. Probably because I'm moving around. Okay, hold on. Let me get this together. Mm. I think that might be a little better. Anyways, I legit feel like my body can tell already that I have done something different because I'm hungry. 
1800 calories to me is not really low, but I also don't really know how many calories I was eating prior because I wasn't tracking. If I had to guess, I would say I was probably eating around like 22 to 2500 calories a day and I was definitely eating carbs. Um, I think immediately I can tell that the carbs were helping to sustain me because without them, I can already tell like I'm a little bit hungrier than I normally would have been. But hopefully my body will adjust <laughs> and it won't be so bad in the future, but we shall see. But nevertheless, that is it for today's video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, advice, tips for keto, whatever, drop it down in the comments below. If you like my videos and if you like my content, please subscribe. And that is it, y'all. Bye.